has anybody done color dye repair here? Nobody. Are you good? How good are you? Okay, I have a volunteer. Well, what do you use? The prism. Uh, that's what I used to use too, and I hate it. <laughs> the problem, of course, two things about uh, something like that. You really have to be doing it a lot. Whenever I'm called to do it, maybe once a year, I have to sit down and watch the video, read through it, you mix this color and that color, how does this work? Oh yes, I remember now. And then go out and do the job, and, and I hate that because I, but if you're doing it a lot, you can, it's, it's a no-brainer. What, usually it's a bleach spot, isn't it? Or it's from Oxy-10. What's in there? This is old, so it's all dried out. Acne pimple medication. Whew, boy, is that ever fine print. Benzoyl peroxide is its ingredient. It's in, but this stuff is in uh, shower, some shower cleaners, hair conditioner cream. It's in some dandruff shampoos, foot fungus medication, even some denture soaks is in there. It contains 10% benzoyl peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide evaporates because it's liquid. Benzoyl peroxide in a cream, guess what? Doesn't evaporate. And frequently, it either bleaches it out or it turns it red. So we'll, we'll run into that. And here's the real big problem. The teenage boy, my younger son, however, was one of these kids that had, you know, the pimples and everything. So he used this stuff a lot. But sometimes you'll, you'll be in this house, you've cleaned it, and you get a phone call. There's bleached out spots. Where? By the TV. Why? He smeared it all over his face. He's sitting in front of the TV with his hands on the carpet. Guess what activates acne medicine? Water, and you're cleaning with water. So this may not ever happen to you, but there is that potential. Whose fault is it? Yours. You were the last person there. It obviously was your fault. So, but that can happen to you. Uh, fortunately, anymore, they treat it a little differently sometimes, so where it's not as common. But she said that she can repair, I think she said she can take care of any dye problem, right? Did you say that? Now she's, 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 she's uh, backtracking really quick, I notice. If you see some on there, blot with safety solve, treat with bleach or neutralizer, which we have, and tell the customer what might happen in a few months. All of these have bleach in them. She may have tried to take care of a spot with one of these. And she calls you and says, can you, I have this uh, spot on my carpet. Can you come out and take it? I have this yellow spot on my carpet. And you come out and you arrive and you say, ma'am, that's not a stain. What? Some of the color is gone. It's gotten bleached out. What did you use here? Well, I have this great spotter here. Well, let's take a look at that label and see what's in here. Ma'am, this happens to have chlorine bleach in it. It probably does a great job in your shower. <laughs> well, it does. So, uh, you know, can you fix my stain? It's not a stain. We might be able to fix it. And I happen to know a woman who does a great job. <laughs> like, you know, like that there. We have a something new come from CTI. It's called their copper carpet dye repair kit. Comes with three things. Pro solvent E is a strong solvent but we need that comes with six colors but these are we're not dyeing the carpet what we are doing these are a kind of like a wax material with a dye in them what's great about it is I can rub it in and adjust and if I went too far it comes right off with that solvent try it again once I'm all done it's semi-permanent if you clean of course it'll take it back off I mean yeah it's not like the prism thing 
And of course, anytime we have this, we need to neutralize it so we have the product Chlorex, which is a reducing bleach to take care of because that's all very important. This is a color chart. Our, we have our primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Of course, blue and yellow makes green. Red and yellow makes orange and so forth. And then your brown, your black, and yellow, black, and orange give you kind of a brownish color. Those are, that's, that's what you're usually aiming for is balancing the colors. Red plus yellow is orange, blue plus yellow is green, red plus blue is violet, yellow plus gray is brown. We flood the area with water and, and vacuum with the water claw at least three times and we soak the area with the Chlorex, three ounces and eight ounces of water. Give it three minutes before we do anything. We use water claw it, get it dry. We apply pro. This is not ProSolve liquid. This is ProSolve NE. It's a separate product for this purpose. What that does, we apply it, and that helps liquefy the color sticks. We work in the primary color evenly. Usually, most carpet wants the primary color. Usually, yellow. That's usually the base primary color. Work it in with the carpet shark. If we apply too much, no problem. Put the solvent on a white towel and remove the excess. Get in the secondary colors until you're finally there. If we need a little gray, we can add the gray until we finally are, are about there. Too orange, add a little blue. If it was a little too red or pink, add a little green. A little too yellow, add a little bit of blue and red. These are things, how long did it take you to learn how to do this with the PRISM kit? Uh-huh. And you did a lot of practice. And, and how much do you charge for doing this? Seventy-five. How good are you? <laughs> She's not as confident as I am. Some call it, some call it which, what colors do you like? Um, the grays are a little easier. Uh-huh. Some of the tans are okay. Some of the tans are okay. I did um, a mauve carpet that was very easy. Now, I remember with a prism kit one time, uh, they asked me to go out. This was a, a rose-colored carpet. And in the prism kit is a rose dye. So I'm down on my hands and knees. And I get it fixed. It only took me like 10 minutes. And I stood up and hit the gentleman's uh, chin. Because he was, <laughs> do customers watch what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was just, yeah, I didn't even know he was there. One job she went on in a doctor's house, she, she tracked bleach in from her outside to the patio. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Yep. So what, in this case, what's missing? There's bleached out spot, what's gone and what still remained. Yeah, the blue's gone, so what would it take to get it back? A little bit of blue. You notice with this, this happens to be acne medicine here. One of the key telling points that it's acne medicine, you'll, I just made an X with it and then kind of put a damp towel on it to kind of speed up everything. You'll notice that it's yellow, but what you notice around the edge, a pink halo. Here, blue and red are both gone. Here, the blue's gone, but the red isn't. And very often with acne medicine, that's the key. You'll notice a red halo. You want to play with this? <laughs> she doesn't want to do it. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not going to, we're close on time. I just want to show you. <laughs> This comes in this kit. These are. If it's not coming, I don't understand why you do it. Is the kit set up? 
because it'll it's if they when it's cleaned it'll come off or a solvent. Yeah, but you've been through all the training and everything. Oh, I see now. A carpet cleaner who just wants a quick and dirty, this is an easy quick and dirty. The problem, the thing is here, it's foolproof. Whereas prism, what happens if you put too much dye in there? You, you're in trouble. You're in really serious trouble. With this, I got too much. I just take my solvent on the towel and I remove that. Exactly, or something like that, or it's a little spot. So you have you have all these colors in here. You have the color chart. They're like kind of like a wax, a, a soft wax. You have the bleach neutralizer. You have the Pro Solve NE. We're not going to bother doing that because it's going to take too much time. Something like this you would want to play around with, but it's a quick and dirty. Like you said, why do that? Well, yeah, but. It, you just got a couple of spots and you just want to do a quickie, there you are, it's, and you need to explain to the customer it's not permanent. If you start spotting here or the next time it's clean, some of this may come back off. But I can put it back on, it's not a big deal.